so for editing the user so we have to use the annotation at the rate put mapping so just use that and inside here just give the path user slash and just give the curly braces and inside here just type id and since we will be returning the user so just type user and just type user update user and inside here so we will be writing the two parameters so the first one is user so for that just type request body since we will be passing in the json and just type user and just type new user so this new user is basically the user passed by the client and we will be using the id as well so just type path variable and just type long and just type id so inside here so we will be returning the user repository dot find by id and just type id so here now we will be using the map so what this map will do is creates a new array from calling a function for every array event so here inside here so we will be using the lambda function so just type user so this user is the existing user so inside here so we will be writing the user dot set so just type set username so here we will be setting the user with the information whichever is passed by the client so just type new user and just type get username so similarly let me just do the same thing for email and name as well so just type user dot set name and just type new user dot get name and similarly just do the same thing for email so just type set email and just type new user dot get email and now save the existing user into the database so for that just type return user repository dot save so just type save and just type the user so just give the semicolon here and if you are not able to get the user with the specific id so this should again display the same type of exception which we have given for getting the user id as well so here also just type the or else throw and just type the arrow, arrow function or give the lambda expression inside here and just type new and just give the user not found exception simply and pass the id so now this should work for the put mapping or editing the user so now let me just run the application again and just click on this stop and rerun so the application has been successfully started so let me just go into the postman and let me just create a new request so instead of this kit so we just need to keep the put here and just type http slash user slash one so if i want to edit the information of one so this should edit the information of one and again let me just go into this body and just go inside this raw and just type json here and inside the json so let me just write the json here and we just need to pass the information so for that just type user name and similarly let me just type the name also and similarly we just need to pass the email also so now if i just go into this database and check the data for one so let me just go into the mysql workbench here and just type the same command select start from user and execute this command so this should show the id one and information of the user is email is gmail.com and name is Arjun codes and username is Arjun. So let me just change some of the information. So let me just change this username and name from here. So let me just go into this postman again. And instead of this username, so the username here is Arjun. So let me just type something like updated Arjun. And again, just go into this name here and let me just type the updated Arjun code. So just type updated arjun codes and similarly let me just type the email something like update at the rate gmail.com so now if i just click on this send so you can see so this is showing the updated data here and now again if i just execute this select star from user and execute this command so you can see the update at the rate gmail.com and the name has been updated and the username also has been updated successfully so now for showing the exception so if i just type something like 20 and just click send so you can see could not found the user with the id 20 so the edit user or put mapping is also working fine